Very quick uh, video. It's getting dark outside and the battery might go off of my train station because I drained it last night because the water pump in the cellar went crazy. And then so a light might go off here. There are already quite a lot uh, hand by hand traced and but more and more popping up of this uh, hoverboard generation two. And therefore I really for the last three days or uh, four days I have begun with the auto detect. Yes. And uh, for this, for example, some of the defines as they are now variables. And so in the config here at the beginning, there is this remote auto detect and it has its own settings. And the first one you have to choose at which a UART because uh, my firmware always needs a UART. Uh, ESP32 is only $2 and therefore <laughs> um, uh, here that's really most uh, these uh, master slaves. That's uh, PA2, PA3. That's UART1 and so UART0. That's somewhere to be found. Mostly that's PB6 and PB7. And you could simply uh, here uh, this uh, connect to a UART dongle, uh, in, um, cheap one. But here I already uh, made uh, connected it to the ESP32, and therefore there I have this auto detect uh, Arduino code which is nothing but a pass through yeah and therefore here in the series you see the 115000 because it's esp32 but uh, the uh, hoverboard is is sending with a here with one 19200 that's because uh, arduino nano uh, with uh, software series it cannot uh, handle uh, higher baud rates Ah, uh, yeah, no, let's, let's begin. You, you simply hear, um, bridge the, the on off button and, and then you will hear constant current, uh, to amp power, uh, supply. You, 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 you start. Yeah. And then it's doing by force uh, the whole sensors and it detects the whole sensors. And here, there, um, they are the combination. And, uh, now here with enter, you can stop. This is, uh, uh is it here? Is it a down? LED, so you press uh, D and uh, then enter to continue. Next comes the buzzer, I guess. Here it is. Oh, then I uh, forgot. Uh, so, so let's uh, reverse direction. And because I skipped, but oh no, now we have orange. Okay, then it's orange. Uh, and we have G for green and red for red and the upper for U, U for up is missing. Uh, that's down. It's Uh, and here, so enter to stop uh, to to get more time to to hit find the key, on the then a U and so up, and with L you can list. So these are uh, as they should be. Um, I invert the direction again so to go upwards. Uh, yeah or no? I think. Now it's upwards. Okay, then S to print save, and now we are scanning the ADC for the voltages. And you press F if you found it, or you press Enter first to. <coughs> you see, it's here. That's uh, for my board PA4. Now I've pressed Enter, and now I could increase the voltage up and down to see it really changing, and it takes too long. And therefore, I press F for found. And the final step for now is S again. It, it's really doing forward backwards and it detects the back uh, reverse currents. Even so, this is a back down. Uh, here it's crazy. It detects uh, in a small window, it detects time window, it detects these back currents when they should come. And then you see. Uh, PA6, that's the one, because uh, in this window it, it shows some backgrounds, whereas the other analogs do not show it. And, and that's how it really um, can detect. <laughs> you see, it's quite reliable. And, and, and so I can list, and now I have also uh, the two analog 
values. So we have the two ADC, we have all the, the digital uh, LEDs, the buzzer, the whole sensors, uh, the six MOSFET, as uh, they have to be uh, as standard. That's because the uh, GD32 uh, it is very restricted on the timer zero uh, to, uh, for, for the pins if you want to do three-phase uh, PVM. And therefore, 90%, so I think one board had a different layout, and this was not the 84 pin, I think it was the lower. And, and so, uh, you have to check uh, one or two pins of the six MOSFETs if they are, oh, where, where do we have them? Uh, oh, sorry, here, that's defined for here. And uh, yeah, that's uh, this standard uh, PA8 to PA10 on PB13 to PB15. As I said, this is very restricted, and therefore um, you have to check this because otherwise, yeah, you might blow your board. Because uh, uh, if I uh, handle, yeah, check it. And yeah, that's it. So you see, uh, it's, it's not finished <laughs> yet. Uh, uh, yeah, it's still the on-off button and uh, uh, the hold uh, uh, output uh, have to be detected, but that's a problem because, you see, if I um, turn off the, the hold button, then the board uh, turns off. And therefore, uh, here, the, right now, the on button always uh, have to be pressed, so it's bridged. That's just on off, and so I cannot detect it pushing it because uh, I need to push it to make sure that the board is always powered. Uh, and, and therefore, uh, I think uh, it's really uh, at the final stage. It's testing all the te testing all the pins until the board turns off, and it, it displays in the serial. And they have to look and, and see that that's the last output. Well, that that's the hold button. But uh, yeah, I really. Uh, um, I haven't tested it uh, with, with other voltages, uh, but the speed here is um, uh, not based on, on, on some voltage, but on milli milliseconds. So uh, it, it might really work for all um, GD32 uh, GD and uh, the uh, GD here, what's that is uh, uh, E. 230. We are already uh, also working. There's a nice guy from China who's uh, trying to <laughs> achieve this because the new boards, uh, most, many of them have this cheap MA32. And therefore, yeah, here I've removed the, uh, the, the, the binary code to a separated uh, partner. And there's also here uh, one that's uh, dedicated uh, for, for the MA mind motion. And so it, I think we are very close to getting it compiled, but uh, the whole libraries are, everything is different. And, and so uh, really here the, uh, the setup, uh, setup.c, uh, here that's, uh, everything has to be written from scratch. We have code examples. And so you can see how it is done. And, and so, yeah, it might, it might still be a lot of work. And so um, right now I'm focusing here on this auto detect. And yeah, it would be nice if, if some of you have such a test set up and, 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 and give it a try. Yeah. Bye bye.